subscribers. Uh, it's TrueBD44. We're doing another unboxing today. Today it's going to be on the uh, Sound Blaster X-Fi Titanium HD. It is uh, Creative Labs' uh, latest and greatest uh, sound card. It's for the audio file. Uh, the Titanium uh, Fatality is still, I think, their primary gaming sound card, but this is their primary uh, audio card. Uh, <clears throat> First off, I want to say is I like the boxing on it. It's like a plastic boxing. Uh, it's real flashy and see-through. But one thing I don't like about it, which I can't believe Creative Labs designed it this way, is the card itself uh, was loose when I got it inside the packaging. And it's because they use wire ties on each side to tie it down. Now I've removed the wire ties and it's sitting where it should be. But if I lift it up and do just that, I mean it comes it comes right out of the slot. So they're relying on wire ties for this to stay put in shipping, and I don't think think that's acceptable, especially for a hundred and seventy dollar uh, sound card. So uh, let's go ahead and have a look at the uh, back of it. Here is the back. Like I said, it's real shiny. I don't know how good that's coming through on the video, but. And it, it just tells you about it, you know, why. Uh, if you look down here at the uh, the uh, parameters of, of what it can do, I think, you know, it, it rivals or exceeds some of the Asus uh, Zonar series sound cards, uh, just from what I've read. Now, uh, I would have no problem buying an Asus sound card because they are great as well. But I've always liked Creative. Uh, I've liked their software. I think their software is a little bit buggy, but but w if you get it working, I mean, it's really uh, good software. It's easily to get to run through uh, the Asus I'm less familiar with. So this is a see how the card has come loose inside the, the package just by me turning it over. So that's one thing I think uh, Creative needs to fix on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Okay, let's look. Let's get the box open here and see. It's all plastic. It's it's not cardboard. It's plastic. And so let's pull it out. Okay, and there's the card. I'm gonna put the card. See how easy it is. The I'm gonna put the card to the side for now, and let's look at the bundle in here. Okay, you get a orange box and you get stuff in it. So I'm just gonna pour it out. Okay, you get an installation CD, which uh, I would just get the latest version of the driver CD off of Creative's uh, website. That's really the best uh, way to do it. See, it looks to me here that there is a mini jack to RCA cable adapter, which that's useful. Well, to be honest with you, if you're either using headphones or you're send, sending the signal to your receiver, uh, I, I mean, I guess that can be used. It's useful, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't use it. And then it comes with a true optical cable. It actually, comes with two of them. Two optical cables. I guess one's for uh, digital in, optical in, and one's for digital out, optical out. And here is the manual. And I've kind of looked through the manual. The manual does a good job telling you how to hook up and what is what. And I'll go over that when we look at the card. Uh, Okay, let's get back to the card here. I'm going to zoom in some. Okay, here's the card. Uh, it's all black, which I like, but I don't know if you can tell it from the video. Let me pick this up. See, it's see-through. I think that's a nice touch. You can actually see the capacitors and the components underneath it. And look, it's very reflective. And But you can see through it, which I think is nice. There's the THX logo, which also is nice. Um, and then there's the Sound Blaster logo. If I can get it, let's see if you can see it. There it is. Very shiny. I mean, I, I like the way their stuff looks. Go to the top, and there's some connectors. The, uh, this card actually allows you to connect everything, like if you have uh, you know, audio coming for your optical drives or where, wherever it comes. You have connectors that connect everything to go directly into the sound card so there's no 
uh, there's no way the signal can be degraded. This will handle the entire sound. And then here, here's a big connector. There almost looks like a floppy connector, which I would not hook your floppy to it. And judging by the look of it, it looks like it is a front panel connector. Of course, no front panel comes with this, but I'd say that's uh, you know where you can hook a front panel up. And I have to check the website to see if there is a if they have one out right now that can be used. Okay, looking at the back of the card, uh, it's a PCI Express times one, and so that can be put in a PCI Express times one slot. Uh, let's see, let's go to the connectors now. Okay, here are the connectors. What you have is this top one is your microphone, the second one is a headphone jack for stereo, and then you have uh, RCA cables, which are you know left and right and then you have optical in and optical out both of those so that's pretty much all your connectors but for uh... for good sounding audio i mean that's really as far as i know all that you need and there is a way to change the the rcas to be actually digital and i think that's in the software so that's another nice feature But uh, i've not tried this card yet but from what i read it's going to be very nice so it's going in the build that i'm doing for uh, the client in Texas, so uh, I think I think we'll be able to get to see how it sounds, and, and I'll probably mention it when I complete the build. So, uh, thank you for watching. This was the unboxing of the Sound Blaster X5 Titanium HD. Uh, thank you, and put uh, any questions you have in the comments section, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much.